So the actual Adobe documentation is quite intensive um, in terms of the detail it goes into and I'm not just going to sit here and read it for you um, but feel free to jump into it in your own time. But there's essentially three ways of implementing target server side. There is the server side uh, delivery API v1 which is this one and um, this lets you query a single inbox um, and return the content from it. There is the v2 which is the batch delivery API which is the one I personally use more or less all the time because you can still return the content from one inbox as per this but you can also return the content from multiple inboxes if needs be and the third way is the Node.js SDK, which is what I'm going to demo um, in this, this video. Um, now, it is easier to use this, but under the hood, it's basically just making these same API calls, but it takes care of some of the, 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 the kind of the, the finicky tasks that you don't want to have to really worry about, like setting cookies and, and persistence and that type of thing, which we'll, we'll go into in detail later on. But like I say, under the hood, this marketing uh, cloud client dot get offer is basically just invoking um, this API up here, and marketing cloud client dot get offers is invoking uh, this batch server side API. So <clears throat> if we just click on either of these links here, let's just look at the the standard one because it's easier to explain. Um, it takes you through to developers dot com. And this is a great source of information to figure out exactly how uh, server-side works. So basically, like I said, it's just an API call. Um, we make a call to the target server from our server and content is returned in the form of an object that we can manip manipulate and do whatever we want. Um, so again, not spending too much time on this because a lot of it is pretty simple. Um, this button here, this um, this this orange one, is a series of um, of Postman calls. So Postman, uh, for anyone not aware, is basically a piece of software which you can download, which allows you to make API calls uh, and requests, whether that be get, post, put, delete, modify, whatever it, it may be, uh, and you can see what is returned. So if we just give this a little click here and. I've already got these, but anyway, if I just click and I've got a Mac and I open Postman. Dee, 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 dee. Let me just knock this off. So I have these already because, because I've already been playing around with this. Um, but what it does, it basically sets up um, a couple of requests for us to look at. So the, the extent of what you can do with um, the API, it's huge. It's, if we just have a little look around, you can get reports to the API, um, look at audiences, offers, activities. You can do admin requests to change people's permissions to add users, but for the purposes of, of this today, um, it's all just about a basic inbox call and how we return content, because really that's it's all you're really going to use unless you're building some kind of dashboard. So the initial request um, that we get in here um, is pre-set up that makes a request to um, using Adobe Target Mobile uh, client code. So this has been set up by Adobe for us, and if we just send this request, we'll get a response, and you'll see you get a test and target ID um, you get the edge cluster host, uh, the content, which is use ship free to get free shipping. And then you get my session ID, which is set from um, the actual um, URL itself. Now, obviously, returning Adobe's content um, is good, but we want to return our own content. So we have to um, modify this request slightly to get our own content. Things that need to be modified, client code, um, session ID, client code again, and then the actual inbox that we're um, we're looking to get the content from. So let's just go across here, and if I just go into uh, target quickly, and I've got a test that I've set up earlier, um, which is called server side testing. But let's just jump into it anyway in case you were uh, actually setting this up yourself. 
So the name of the inbox that you're putting here is it can be anything you want. It doesn't. It isn't global inbox at the minute. Um, when you first set this up, nothing will exist because there'll have been no calls. So call it something appropriate. Um, a in my case has content and B has different content, um, which is the heading. So A is just my heading that says London-based Adobe Target Conversion Optimization Agency, um, which is the tagline from the company website that I have. And this is a separate one this, that says this is a server-side headline from Adobe Target. And if we just jump through, it's set up, let's make it actually 100% to B and then all visitors in this case because it's server side so unless you call it it can actually um, invoke so it's not like it's going to invoke on different URLs and then I've just got a super basic setup here that's just set up reporting into Adobe Target and it's just engagement and page views because it's the simplest way of setting it up and if I just save and close this that was just to give you an overview of how that's set up if we jump into setup once this actually syncs, we'll get our client code. If you don't know how to get your client code, it sits under the implementation tab. So if you've got implementation and um, edit settings and you get your client code from here. <clears throat> so if we just basically swap out client code, client code, and then here, um, it's looking for this inbox and I've, I called mine server underscore inbox underscore one, I think. Let me just check that just to make sure it matches. Yes, I've got it wrong. Server underscore test one. Okay. Let's go back into the postman server underscore test underscore test underscore one okay so now um, the only thing to set up here is the uh, session ID it can remain as is for now but what is key to know about this is when we run this later on the session ID needs to be unique per session um, so that target and the um, the visitor ID service can link a session together and doesn't create multiple sessions. Otherwise, what potentially may happen is the server creates a visitor and then once you land on the site, um, the visitor API service creates a visitor and you've essentially got two visitors rather than um, rather than the one, which would create a nightmare. But for the purposes of now, we can leave it as is. And if I send this, I now get more or less the same thing. The ID is different, but we now get the content which is from my target uh, test that I set up uh, previously, which is over here, um, that just shows the same content as in B. So this content here is the same as this content here. So that is the basic call. Um, we can make a more complex call. Um, again, the documentation over here has every single request parameter. Some of them are, um, required some of them aren't um, and that gives you a lot of power i'm not going to go through all of these because it would take a long time and some of them are i don't think used that much but let's just look at the um the request with all of the parameter parameters on so this is essentially the same inbox call um as, as previous so my client id my uh client id again and this time i've just put I put an actual ID in here and the body is is modified this time so what this is is I'm still looking at server test one but I'm passing parameters uh, into um, the inbox so this could be anything so you could pass in as you can see here it's passing in screen height screen with blah 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 could be anything it could be um, I don't know geolocation you could pass in there if you wanted and then use it um, in the actual target interface itself. Um, we're passing in page URL, referral URL, IP address. You can pass anything you want in here um, and that will allow you to, to target better or create a more niche audience if you need to um, outside of the scope of this. Uh, but again, I may cover it in a different video. 
when I run this this time, um, if I just send the post request, <clears throat> you essentially just get the exact same thing. Um, but what it's done, it's sent off a lot of these uh, parameters now to um, to the inbox, and you could, you know, like I say, you could use them to target. Um, it's worth noting um, what can be done in here because it's it's pretty extensive. It's unlikely you're going to make many calls that are just a basic inbox call. Um, but as you can see, essentially you returned an object in both cases that's got a session ID from the URL and has content. So now we could use this content on the server side if we wanted to display inside a template, which I'll demonstrate uh, later on. Um, but that kind of wraps it up for just, you know, what does target do under the hood server side? Makes a very simple API call to the server. The server responds with a test and target ID. Uh, it responds to say it's got the session ID that we've set and gives you the content. It's kind of that simple.